A grapnel gun. A staple of Batman's arsenal. But is it viable? Hello, and welcome to Fast Physics. Hello, I'm Ryan. I'm Tommy. And I'm Hater. The grapnel gun works by using a motor within the gun to pull on the cable, which attaches to a ledge or building. Today, we're looking at the iteration found in Batman Arkham Knight, the grapnel gun Mark I. We'll analyze the forces exerted on Batman and determine whether the tool is viable or incredibly dangerous. The situation takes place in Gotham City. In this clip, we see that Batman starts from a zero velocity hanging from the grapnel gun. The gun then begins to reel inwards, causing Batman to accelerate upwards. We're trying to find the acceleration and input that into our equation so that we may determine the tension force of the grapnel gun. Determining the tension force will allow us to see whether Batman's arm will be torn out of its socket due to the intense levels of force pulling on his arm. According to the Batman Arkham Knight Codex, Bruce Wayne weighs 95 kilograms, and that's without his heavy armored bat suit and numerous gadgets. Now we know that an average load of our US soldier is approximately 60 pounds. Now Batman is considerably more mobile and does not need to carry the numerous guns, weapons, and other survival equipment that a soldier in the field might carry, but still carries gadgets and has some pretty heavy armor. We decided that an appropriate weight would be 30 pounds or about 14 kilograms. In total, our system of Batman has a mass of 109 kilograms. Now, we can figure out Batman's displacement. We know that an average story is about 10 feet, and we know that he's going up two stories. However, he doesn't start from the bottom of the first story. He starts about three feet up, which is why we'll take away three feet from the first story, have the entire second story, and then add about 1.5 feet for the roof. Our first step is finding acceleration. Here's our equation, and here are the values that we'll be using. We convert everything to metric, and our time value is found from using 19 frames over 30 frames per second. That's about 0.63 seconds. Our acceleration value for Batman is about 7.03 meters per second squared. Our next step is to define Fnet and use Bruce's mass to determine his force of gravity. We then use our Fnet equation and fill out all the variables and then simplify it to find the force of tension, 1,835 newtons. So the grapnel gun exerts a force of 1,835 newtons. Although that may seem like a lot, it's actually nowhere close to being able to destroy Batman's arm. A boxer can exert over 5,000 newtons, and their arm doesn't go flying off with each punch. No. And not only that, Bruce Wayne is in peak physical form, so it would be even harder to rip off his arms when he's already got them ripped! Mm -hmm.